Hello YouTube. My username is Ace the Bob, and today I'm going to begin a series of videos I'm going to create about the video games I have in my collection and I have collected over the years of my life and before them even. And today we're going to start with the oldest system that I have, which is the original Nintendo, the NES, and I have a substantial amount of games for that system in this bucket which you can't see because it's off the camera, but I'll start looking at them and saying what I personally think of each game. First on the list, Ninja Gaiden 2. Ninja Gaiden 2, I don't know how to pronounce that exactly, because uh, I'm not a really big fan of the series. No offense. Uh, it's, I never really got past the second level, so I, I don't really know a whole lot about it. I'm not good at it. Uh, the next game, Back to the Future, the, based on the movie from 1985, the game's terrible. It has nothing to do with the movie. It's awful. You don't look like Marty in it. There's a lot of reviews online if you're more interested to see how much it sucks. Okay, the next game is called Star Force. It's a shooter, not like today's shooters, but you're in a ship shooting up the screen, which is really like forward, and you shoot alien ships. It's really fun. I always liked this when I was a young person. The next game is a game most people know about, Pac-Man. I don't really need to say anything about that. I like it. I'm a, I'm a Pac-Man fan. Pac-Mania. I'm into Pac-Mania. Not really. Okay, next is Wheel of Fortune, based on the television show Wheel of Fortune. And at the end of the game, if you solve the puzzle and beat your opponents, you get a fabulous prize. It's, you know, pretty, pretty typical based off the TV show, only it's for the original Nintendo, so it has almost no graphic quality at all. Next is Super Mario 2. This is one of the more unique Mario games in the series uh, on the NES. Um, uh, it's okay, it's not It's not my favorite of the three, it's actually my least favorite of Super Mario Bros. original, then this one, and then the third one. Uh, you, could, you actually get to choose your player at the beginning between Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, I think that's it, and uh, Peach Flies. That's all I remember. I didn't get very far in it. I'm not too good at it. Okay, next. Double Dragon 3. I think I think this is the one that's hard, almost impossible, and I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it's two-player. I used to play it with my friends. It's not easy, like I said, so for me, that's not fun because I like to win. What can I say? Okay, here's Super Mario Bros. 3. This is probably one of my favorites. This is probably my favorite on the... Uh, original Nintendo favorite Mario game. It is on a. You see a map, you move Mario around. Uh, I'm sure you've probably heard of it. I played it before. It's fun. You get to pick different powers for Mario. You find different powers. Next is called RC Pro Am. You race remote control vehicles that look like race cars. You are always the red one. It's extremely hard to control your car. There's a lot of obstacles. And it's not a whole lot of gameplay, but. If for what you you know for what there is it's fun. Next is called Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular. Snoopy goes to the Olympics in Rome. Uh, you can either play as Snoopy or as his cousin or uncle or something. This guy right here, he's got a mustache and a hat. He lives in a cactus in Mexico. I'm not even kidding. That's where he lives. If you've ever seen the comic, uh, it's fun. I actually really like that game. There's different mini games you get to play like pole vaulting and uh, sack racing and throwing a boot at the Coliseum. Uh, the next one is a classic, Super Mario Brothers. I, of course, love this game, but who doesn't? I mean, it's one of the original games that became popular. It's a great game. Okay, next is a terrible game to follow up that good one, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, based on the show from the 80s. And I watched it growing up, but this game doesn't represent it at all. It's terrible. Hard, your, your characters are weak, their weapons are terrible. Uh, okay, I said terrible about 50 times already in this video, but the next one is Back to the Futures Part 2 and 3. Uh, a little bit better than the first game. You, It's more like a Mario game, it's side-scrolling. Your character doesn't look like Marty, though, he looks like a baseball player. Uh, you go through this second movie kind of you find stuff that Biff left in the past and you gotta put it back in its place. You get to travel between time, that's pretty cool. Uh I usually use it with cheats because it's hard. And it's a long game, there's no saving, so that's that one. The next one's called Hoops. Um it's basketball. I never really liked it. 
Yeah, you know, they couldn't do a whole lot with it back then. Street basketball. Go figure. Okay, then this next one I didn't get until actually my sister bought it recently. Uh, it's called Mickey Mickey's Adventure in Numberland. We, it, it doesn't even work too well. Uh, this particular copy, uh, but it, it's pretty awful. Uh, the next one is Kung Fu. Uh, it's pretty easy to beat. It's not too many levels. It's a good classic arcade game where you kick people and punch them in the face and kill them. Uh, the next game is one of my favorite games of all time and led to the, my favorite game ever. And that is The Legend of Zelda. The original in its gold glory. Behold it. And this is not an easy game, but it does have a save feature which was revolutionary for the time. And it's one of the most revolutionary games of all time. It's extremely fun. It's got a master quest or something like that at the end where all the dungeons are mixed up and so you can play it again and it's harder. And this is a good one. If you haven't played this yet, get it somehow and play it. Alright, the last one in the bucket here is... Oh, what do you know? I have two copies of Hoops. Okay, well, that's... We talked about that now. I have more games, a couple more over here. Let's see. Uh, Top Gun. Top Gun is not easy. It, the, it's poorly made. The first mission is training for the next mission, with, and I always die on the first mission anyway. So, you know, if you die all the time in training, it's just not terribly fun. It's hard. But, you know, flight simulator, my ass. It's not really much of a flight simulator. All right, next, I never played this game. Uh, it was before my time, it's golf. Actually, it's called Bandai Golf Challenge Pebble Beach. Uh, Never played it. No idea what it's like. Next, another game show, Jeopardy, based on the game show Jeopardy, which comes after Wheel of Fortune, I think. And it's a lot like Jeopardy. You answer questions, uh, and you can win at the end, you know, based off the show. Not much more to say about that. Uh, Base is loaded. Baseball game. Not registered by any baseball of anything. It's made in Japan, so it doesn't really, like... Played it doesn't have the doesn't have Cincinnati Reds on it, so not terribly interested in playing. To be honest, let's see, we got the combination of Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. So I already have Mario Brothers, so I use this for Duck Hunt. If I ever play Duck Hunt, you gotta have the the Nintendo Zapper for it, which I don't have with me right now, but it's I do have one. Uh, Duck Hunt is a great game. Uh, those levels shoot ducks with a gun. What can be funner? Uh, a lot of people know about this game, <clears throat> Tetris, puzzle game, make make a row of blocks and they disappear, if they get to the top you lose. I like Tetris. And the last original Nintendo game that we have is Rad Racer, which is, uh, it's fun if you run off the road, your car flips and flips and, and you're dead. Uh, you're not really dead, but you slowly go back on the course and you run into green buggies. Uh, I don't usually get past the first level. Uh, it's not terribly easy. It's it's based on time. you got to get through it at checkpoints at time. But I like it. It's got nice uh, nice Japanese music in it. I think that's it. Um, well, that is my collection of original Nintendo games. Thank you for watching, everybody.